Hi water signs, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight. I'm doing a bonus reading for all the elements. So if you did not resonate with your uh, reading specifically for your sign, this is a bonus reading. So it's for all the uh, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So hopefully this will resonate with you if your specific reading didn't. Um, so I'm just going to say a brief intro, you know, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you like how I read, please um, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, uh, like the video so they'll get circulated around YouTube, um, comment, share, all that good stuff. You can check the description box for all information on personal readings, to donate with PayPal, my email, um, if you want more information about readings and how they work and different uh, aspects of it, I have an introduction video on my homepage. If you're new to my channel, you can go to my homepage and watch my introduction video. It's about five minutes and you'll find more information there on, if you're new to tarot readings, um, you'll find more information about me readings and general YouTube information. So please check that out. Okay, so just gonna get started here because I want this to be, didn't want a long intro because I've been doing that lately. So I'm gonna do it in the same format as I do the other readings, but it's just going to be for all the water signs. So this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is the bonus reading for February 2019 with the General Collective watching my channel this is a general reading please spirit so it's a barbary zodiac oracle we're going to get uh all the names of the decks are in the description also so uh we're going to see what you may be dealing with maybe a fellow sign another element sign a planet to see what we get and if you're not dealing with this energy that's totally fine just toss that out Anything in this reading does not resonate, toss it out, keep what resonates, throw away what doesn't. So keep that in mind always when you watch every reading that you watch, please keep that in mind. Okay, so for the water sign spirit, oh, that's two, I just want one. Cancer, I saw Cancer and Aquarius, so if you any of you are dealing with a Cancer or Aquarius, this could, message could be for you. So we'll see what comes out, Spirit. I just want one card. Here we go. Pisces. So this message could be specifically just for a Pisces person, or maybe there is a water sign. Maybe um, this message could be for two water signs. So it could be Whatever sign you are, uh, if you're Cancer or Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Pisces or it could be Pisces, Pisces. Or this message just could be for certain individuals who are Pisces. So you take that however that resonates. I have the feeling this might be for uh, those of you who are Pisces, might be a specific message for you or couples who are Pisces, Pisces. Or maybe one of you has Pisces heavily in their chart. It might not be your sun sign, but you could have Pisces heavily in your chart or the other person's chart. So that could be significant. Water talks about emotions, feelings, ebb and flow, going with the flow. Um, and things of that nature. It's healing energy. Water is healing energy. It's peaceful. It's calming. It can be tranquil. Okay, so this is the Butterfly Oracle. So we're just going to get your message, your bonus message for February 2019 Spirit. The General Collective of Water Signs. Watching my channel. I feel like this one really wanted to fly. So let's see what we have. Retirement. Okay. <laughs> Maybe some of you are retiring or retiring something in your life that's no longer serving you. Doesn't necessarily mean retiring from your career. 
It can be retiring from retiring anything in your life that is no longer serving you. That means cutting away, cutting it away, cutting it out. Um, I'm just gonna read a tiny snippet to see. Additional meanings, the retirement of a parent or another or other loved one. Change of employment, so you could be leaving one career into another one. The, an opportunity to pursue your dreams, making the best of your time, getting some rest, taking a meaningful vacation to a place you've always dreamed about. So this kind of indicates a change in your work schedule, uh, reducing hours, big change in your daily re routine and your identity, transition. Uh, focusing on how to spend your freed up hours as well as accompanying financial changes. You receive this card as acknowledgement of your shifting schedule and budget and also as encouragement that with planning, self-honesty and the uh, input of experts such as financial advisors or counselors, you will enjoy a beautiful retirement. So it can be a spe specific message for those of you who maybe are retiring or having a big change in your career um taking some time out um or like i said could be it didn't mention that in the book but i really get a, a sense it could be retiring things or situations that are no longer serving you could also mean that butterflies are about transformation Okay, cards. Cooperate now. Okay, so we'll get about eight tarot cards to clarify the situation for some of you. Or the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay. One more shuffle. Spirit, can we have eight cards to clarify what this retirement is about for the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for February 2019? A temperance show up here. Some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Four, too many for the month of February 2019. For a general reading of the water signs for their bonus reading. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, from the General Collective, watching my channel. Eight of Cups, walking away from something. Re oh, wow. Wow, here's Spirit confirming the Eight of Cups. Talks about walking away from something unfulfilling. And this is the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this could be a Pis Pisces walking away from something that is no longer serving them. And I had just said retirement, retiring things in your life that are no longer serving you and here we have the eight of cups walking away from something no longer serving you and it could be love or it could be something else spirit confirming that wow okay so let's see i would like this to be a general reading not love i do my love reading separate spirit please so can we have seven more cards Oh, that's way too many. Oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, wow. So, I, I guess these are meant to be. I usually don't take big clumps like that, but they gave me seven. And I wasn't going to take them, and then Spirit said, count them. I did, and I have seven. <laughs> okay, we're going to start from the bottom. We have the nine of pentacles. Okay. You're walking away. This is um, monetary material. This could be career orientated maybe you're going into a new career for some of you we have death exactly ending a cycle ending something that's no longer serving you walking away from it as in with the retirement and death is um scorpio energy the pentacles are earth virgo taurus capricorn so 
maybe some of you are walking away from a Capricorn or this could just be ending one career with the pentacles here and going to another career the devil wow now we have Capricorn so this is talks about some toxic energy um, negative energy okay so let's read on more here now now we have the six of cups so this is water sign you know cancer scorpio pisces this talks about um nostalgia memories things from the past things from your childhood childhood home old family and friends you haven't seen in a very long time maybe reuniting with an old uh family member an old very old friend this also can indicate indicate a soulmate card uh someone you've had past lives with reuniting with that person so it may or not be i mean i didn't want this to be about love so but if for some of you because pink usually indicates you know love just like red does but this could be a love situation maybe walking away from a capricorn maybe a scorpio is leaving a capricorn um going back to someone from the past to someone from the past or you could be leaving your career and going back and maybe it's a toxic situation situation you know you need to end it with the death card here retiring from that place like just cutting it out because you know it's no longer serving you as you see he has a um i forgot what you call that blade here but you know cutting away something no longer serving you because you know it's toxic it's a bad situation. It's a negative situation. Because you have the tox toxic card here. The negative energy card. So you could be walking and maybe you're returning to an old job you had before. The six of cups here. And then we have the four of swords. This is air energy. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and this is about taking a rest, taking a respite, recovery, um, healing, retreating, just thinking and contemplating, not really taking any action, you know, just taking a little bit of a rest for now. So maybe that's something that here you had to think of and contemplate about, and it falls right under the pentacles here, which are monetary career. So I feel like you thought long and hard about maybe the place you're, you were employed at and in your career and you just feel like I can't do it anymore. It's too toxic. I need to retire that, cut it out of my life, walk away, return to maybe something you did before. The high priestess. So this is someone who knows all the secrets secrets revealed uh, she has intuition in her knowing this can be Pisces this is you can relate to you Pisces uh, in her knowing in her intuition gut feelings um, trusting yourself and what you know what you think what you think you need to do having that higher knowing being enlightened faith spirituality so i think your gut told you after you thought about it long and hard you follow your intuition in your gut and you realize that you had to cut away this that was no longer serving you and yep knight of swords so this is air energy again um libra gemini aquarius and this is an action card sometimes he the Knight of Swords rushes in, he like barges in and causes some havoc. He doesn't really think before he speaks, causes kind of some trouble, maybe then regrets later what he said. Uh, he should have thought more about what he said. Can be not really a troublemaker, but maybe just a little too harsh and brash in the way he comes forward. It's usually like coming forward fast could be a little bit of a conflict when he comes forward maybe you had a upper management person that was very demanding very harsh was not a nice person because it's right under the 
excuse me, the devil energy here. And this could be just you knowing you need to cut away. Like I said, look at here. Two swords cutting away this that is no longer serving you. Retiring from that. I don't mean little, literally retiring from it, but like just cutting it out of your life. Like retiring that out of your life. You know it's no longer serving you. It has to be cut away. It's too toxic. You know your gut feeling, your intuition. You know you thought about it. Definitely career oriented here. Maybe you're even single, but you walk in a way, maybe returning to an, uh, an older job career you had before. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Two of Wands. Exactly. Wow. Fire energy. Uh, Leo Sagittarius. And this talks about the Two of Wands is planning, deciding, deciding what path you're going to go on. And once you've decided, you've chosen what one you've want, you want, and now you're going to set out on that journey. Like if you looked into the crystal ball here, it almost looks like think of the moon represents Pisces. Like you know, you followed your intuition, you've chosen your new path, and you're setting forth out on that new journey with the two of wands here. You're planning, um, making arrangements, working things out, setting forth. Let's see what's on the bottom. The yeah, manifesting the magician. Manifesting this new beginning. Three of Cups, exactly. Reuniting, celebrating. Maybe you're re reuniting with old friends you had in this. Or maybe you ran into an old friend from an old career, that job that you had. And maybe now uh, there were some conversations. And maybe now, you know, they said, hey, why don't you come back? And you're going to go back to a job you had before. But three of wands, you're just waiting right now. You're just waiting, patiently waiting for your ship to come in. And once it get comes in, you're getting on board and you're setting forth on that new journey that you're manifesting because maybe you ran into someone from the past. Uh, the magician. Can be Gemini or Virgo. So there's a lot of signs here. I mean, all the signs are here, but uh, however this resonates for you with the signs, you take what signs resonate, throw away what signs that don't. So let's see what's on the bottom of the Oracle for extra guidance, gracefully aging. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you know it's for your own benefit. Maybe you're getting a little older. Maybe you don't have many years left to work, but you know that where you are now, you don't want to stay there until you retire. That could be another message. Like you want to age gracefully. You don't want to have all the stress, anxiety, and burden, and toxicity in your life until you retire. So... You, I think you, you finally realized it's time to move on to something else. And you could be returning to another job or career that you worked at before. Could be happening this spring with the Two of Wands. Okay, Water Signs. Well, that was your extra bonus reading for February 2019. So if you didn't resonate with your specific uh, reading for your sign, I hope this resonated more for you. Uh, please comment, let me know. Again, if you like how I read, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, like, please like the videos, share to your heart's content. Um, This also can be past, present, or future energies we pick up on. Maybe you've already been through something like this, going through it now, or it could happen in the future. Um, so please keep in that in mind. Or you could go back, like I said before, and watch, um, if you know your chart, other readings on other signs in your chart, too. 
if you know your uh, birth chart, signs in your birth chart. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And good luck to you. Sending many light and love and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.